What if I told you the next Galaxy Ultra might ditch one of its most iconic features? Just to make room for a battery so massive it sounds like something from a tablet? That's right, Samsung is reportedly gearing up for its boldest, most. Disruptive move yet, not just another camera bump, not just a chip refresh. We're talking full-on reinvention here, buckle up. Because the Galaxy S26 Ultra might not just challenge your expectations, it could rewrite. Them dot hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel, Sam here. Your go-to for all things future tech and breaking mobile leaks. If you're into deep dives, real talk, and the kind of info that makes your current phone feel old, you're in the right place. Make sure to hit that like button. Share this with a fellow tech enthusiast and subscribe so you never miss a beat. Let's unpack the madness behind the S26 Ultra because these rumors are next level wild. Let's kick things off with something that has everyone buzzing, the battery. Tired of the 5,000 mAh club? Well, Samsung's reportedly testing a 7,000 mAh beast for the S26 Ultra. That's more than just an upgrade, that's tablet territory dot now. Here's the twist, the way they're doing it, by removing the built-in S Pen slot. Yeah, the very thing Ultra fans have clung to for years, but wait, it's not gone for good. Rumors say Samsung might go the magnetic route, just like Apple's iPad Pro, Snap-on. Wirelessly charged, and probably less awkward in your pocket. More battery, cleaner internals, and honestly, how often do you really use that stylus? It gets even more exciting and nerdy. Samsung's reportedly experimenting with silicon carbon batteries. This is cutting-edge tech being explored by electric vehicle companies. We're talking lighter weight, higher energy density, and ultra-fast charging. If even a fraction of that innovation makes it into the S26 Ultra, we might be entering an era of all-day use without a brick in your hand. Now let's zoom into the camera department, and no, not just metaphorically, leaks hint at Samsung. Possibly ditching the dual telephoto lenses, sounds like a downgrade, not exactly, the replacement. A single, ultra-adaptive lens with variable aperture and optical zoom. One sensor to rule them all, capable of handling portraits, zoom, and low-light shots. Less hardware, more intelligence, and that's not all, a 3 to 4 MP sensor is reportedly in development. That's not just high rays, that's ridiculously high rays. If this pairs with Samsung's latest AI imaging tech, we might get photos that compete with DSLRs on a phone dot design wise, Samsung seems to finally be listening. The infamous camera bump might get a serious glow up, thanks to a new inkjet matte lens coating. Less glare, less wobble, more sleek. Thank you, Samsung dot now. Performance junkies, this one's for you, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to run the Snapdragon 8 Gen to Elite and the leaked benchmarks, they're savage. Over 4,000 points in single core and 11,000 in multi core. That's possibly ahead of Apple's A series for the first time ever. And paired with the Adreno 8040 GPU, which might feature dedicated graphics memory. We're talking console level gaming in your pocket dot now before we get too excited. A quick reality check. Some markets might get Samsung's new Exynos to 600 ship. It's built on the same cutting-edge thermal process. But let's be honest, Exynos still has trust issues. If Samsung can pull off a redemption arc here, it'll be impressive, but they've got a mountain to climb not zooming out. What does this mean for the rest of the Galaxy lineup? Rumors say the Z Fold 7 might keep the same battery. Yikes. And the Flip 7 Fay might rely solely on Exynos to cut costs. Mixed feelings there. Also, charging speeds. Still hovering around 45 West wired. Compare that to Chinese phones casually flexing 100 West Plus. And yeah, it feels like Samsung stuck in a time loop. Display lovers. Rejoice. The S26 Ultra sticks with its 6.8 LTPO emeld. But with thinner bezels than ever. Think. Floating slab of glass. However, no under-display selfie camera yet. We're still rocking the good OL punch hole, which at this point feels like Samsung's comfort zone. Oh, and remember the name Suzanne. That's the code name for a mysterious new battery material. Samsung's testing. No one outside. The lab knows what it is, but if leaks are true, it could revolutionize thermal management and power density. Samsung might be playing a much longer game than we thought dot so. Here's the big question, is this the moment Samsung finally breaks free from Apple's shadow? Or are they just throwing every experimental idea at the wall? Either way, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be bold, controversial, and very ultra. What would make you upgrade? A huge battery, pro-grade camera tech, 
Maybe you're still holding out for under display everything. Whatever it is, drop your wish list in the comments. I read every single one. If you enjoyed this deep dive and want to stay on top of the hottest leaks, rumors, and insider scoops, hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell because Unpack Season is just around the corner. And it's going to be wild. Dot. And if you're hungry for more, check out this video here on the Z Fold 7 battery situation. Or this one here about how the iPhone 17 might finally get left behind. Thanks for watching. Stay curious. Stay connected. And as always, I'll catch you in the next one.